Uh, so I, you know, kind of want to do a video a day and today I want to kind of go into my career path and it's been interesting seeing the people, you know, in my life, like Misty's friend, Robin, her husband was an electrician in the Navy and he ended up, uh, working for Northrop Grumman on the B2 bomber as electrician. And it's like, you know, it was kind of cool cause he took us in in 2011 and 2001, it was that summer of 2001 and he took us into Edwards Air Force Base and got to tour the B-2 bomber, man. I was sitting in the hangar and all their offices are up there behind it. So we go up there and we're looking down at this thing and uh, maybe I'm not going to talk about career path. This is, this is cool. Um, we're looking down at this B-2 bomber, you know, from the back and, you know, um, we, we, you know, go in the building and they tour us around and you know, we're looking up in the bomb bay and stuff and just, you know, walk around the airplane and um, the guy brings out the big generator motor or whatever and fires it up and they, and they, uh, they uh, fire up the, the B-2 bomber for us. The cockpit was all lit up, man, all the instruments and stuff. And uh, anyway, so, you know, we're, our, our sons, this, is, this was Cub, Cub Scouts, and our sons were probably, let me see, 2001, uh, John would have been eight, 92. No, so he'd been seven, eight. And so, I mean, we got all these kids, man. There, there, I think there was 11 of us, 11, you know, dads and their kids. And, uh, you know, we're up in this office and, you know, just, it's like, God, we're just cluttering up their place. That's what we're doing. But, uh, Rich was friends with the guy that ran the place that, you know, and, uh, so at one at a time, they let us take, you know, a father and son would go sit in the cockpit of this B2 bomber. And when I, you know, there was 11 of us and I think John and I were the second one to do it. And I just said, I don't need to sit in the cockpit. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, that's, that's just like, let somebody else, you know, I, this is cool, man. I got to be in here, man. There's behind in the seats, man, there's, there's a bunk where they can, you know, crash out. And, uh, so, you know, they, they, all the guy, all, everybody goes, you know, all the fathers and sons get to go. And I go, I want to sit in the cockpit. I want to say I sat in the cockpit of a B2 bomber. So I, I you know, pipe up and I say, I want to sit, you know, in the cockpit. And so I was the last father to go in and I, I got to sit in the cockpit. And they powered it up. That's what they did with the generator. That's the word I was trying to work, uh, remember. They powered it up. So I'm sitting in the cockpit. He's going over all the things, you know, and he's like, you know, they can, they don't even have to fly it. They can just program it to go out to the runway and take off. And I mean, just like, you know, he's talking all this stuff and he goes, this is what this, you know, screen is. And this is, and I'm like, you know, just like, Ugh. And it was funny because all our dads, man, we're in heaven. We're having a ball. And the kids are going, can we go get lunch now? It's like, you know, you're never going to have a chance to do this in your life. And so I'm the last one to go sit in the B-2 bomber in the cockpit, you know, in the pilot seat. And, you know, uh, he starts going, okay, you know, hit this switch, hit that switch, you know, do this switch. You know, we're powering it down. And, you know, I got to power down a B-2 bomber. I mean, that was, that was like, you know, and that's not even the best part of the story. And it was, it was cool because, you know, we, we all did that. I mean, just they were working on the skin of it or something. They, you know, they have special laminates that just looked like some guy in there just um, laminating um, like bathroom top. I'm not tile, but uh, whatever that is. Um, and so, you know, we get out of that and there's a B-52 sitting on the, on the tarmac right next to where we were. And there was a B-1 bomber and... B-1 bomber is my second favorite airplane and we got to tour the B-52 you know that was that was impressive how small it was inside yes that's because they can carry what 80,000 pounds that's why you know it's so small in there and uh you know um then we we toured the B-1 and and I just was like wow man this is this, that was so cool man to, to do that that day before 9-11 you know um after 9-11 that wouldn't have happened and so that night I get home and um, my dad was nuts about airplanes. Um, God, when he died, I inherited all those books. But it, he was good for any type of coffee table airplane book. I mean, German fighters, it didn't matter. He, he loved it, man. And uh, that's an interesting story about canoeing and my dad and, you know, getting his pilot's license. I'll, I'll go into when I, when I start talking about my dad. So, you know, I mean, he, I, he's nuts about airplanes. He just is, you know, boats, 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 airplanes, airplanes, airplanes. I mean, it's, uh, and so I call him up that, that evening and I'm going, dad, guess what I did today? And he goes, what? 
And I said, I got to power down a B-52 bomber. <laughs> and he, he swore at me. I won't, you know, ladies, I said I'd be professional, but he swore at me. That was funny about it. He's like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, and that, that was so cool to be able to do that. You know, Rich having that, uh, that, you know, connection to go in there and, you know, like, I mean, we could touch it, man. We could touch everything. It was, you know, like, it was wild, man. Just, uh. I walk in, and at the door was a Marine, you know, whatever, corporal with a M16, you know, standing there, of course, you know. Um, living in Palmdale and doing swimming pools, I, I did the um, Country Club Estates, and it was right off the main runway of Palmdale Airport right there. And all these airplanes, I mean, even FedEx would come in and do t practice touch and goes, and, you know, A16s, and um, I mean... <sighs> Have a, I, I, I had a, a B1, a B2 bomber, I mean, take off. I mean, it's over my head. It's, you know, probably a quarter mile from the runway. So they're probably 1,500 feet, 2,000 feet, man, just right over. And with their chase plane, you know, um, I, I love that because you'd always, you know, and the, the, um, the U2, you could tell that. You could tell by the sound, man. You'd hear that, you know, if the engine was pointing towards, you go, yep, that's a U2. Um, it, it was cool. All the, all the planes that, that would come over and, uh, you know, I, I just really enjoyed, you know, calling my dad and saying, dad, guess what I did today? <laughs> Tickle me. Um, anyway, many blessings.